Okay, so I want to do a reading, right? Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a fun reading or not, but I'm kind of I'm trying to step outside the box. You know, I'm tired of doing love readings all the time, but this is definitely a love reading, so <laughs> I guess. Anyways, oh, I should have smoked. I probably should smoke. Okay, anyways, so we got pal A, pal B, pal C. Uh, pal A is perfection, pal B is growth, pal C is renewal. What are they saying about you to other people? Um, I'm trying to think if there are any messages from spirit. I have readings on my website, thelovemealways.com. I am on Instagram at queensandraxo. I'm on Patreon as well as queensandraxo. For some reason, I mentioned that I was on Pinterest, which I mean, I am on Pinterest, but it's a whole lot of, I got a whole lot of boards if y'all want to go see it. Um, I think it's Queen Sandra XO. If y'all curious, just let me know. But it's mainly workout shit now. I'm, I'm really into working out, so it's mainly workout things. Anything else, weird? Oh, I love you guys. I care for you guys. I appreciate you. When was the last time somebody told you that? But I appreciate you, okay? Let's get started. Okay, y'all not gonna really be able to see Pal A and Perfection and all that because, um, yeah, that's, that's gonna fall. Y'all, don't don't worry about it. We all know it's there, okay? So, let me move this out the way. Because we're going to get to some messages. They told me to do a spiritual message, okay? They told me to do a spiritual message. Whoa, whoa, what that? Okay. This deck right here? No. The moon deck? Yes, okay. Hmm. Well, well, what does Pal A need to know about their relationship? <laughs> Y'all wanted to give them a message. What does Pal A need to know about their relationship? What does Pal A need to know about their relationship? What does Pal A need to know about? Work through your fears. The energy is gaining momentum. And communication is key. So, I feel like in your relationship, you need to let some past things go. Uh, welcome a new beginning. And release something. And it's, it's going to be a time for action. Um, okay. So, I feel like you're coming up against some energy with your partner. That spirit is trying to tell you that now is the time for action. Now is the time for you to continue to keep going. Because it's saying that you have some type of fear. And fear will lie to your face. Fear will hold you back. <laughs> fear will make you not be able to manifest things in your life that you want because you think that you don't deserve it. That's that's fear. So don't you ever fucking believe in the fear. I'm trying to get out of cards on the table. Um, I feel like if you allow this fear to definitely take over... It's going to hold you back from a new beginning with your person <clears throat> or with um, whomever you are inquiring about. Um, Spirit says communication is definitely key. So speaking your mind, telling people how you feel, uh, speaking, telling spirit how you feel, <laughs> um, asking for what you want and believing that you can have it, not having fear. Like, oh, I well, I want this, but I, I don't think I deserve it. I don't think it's going to happen. It sounds too good to be true. It, it, yeah, it might be. <laughs> because you're making it that energy. You're making it more than what it is. Um, ask for what you want. Because it's creating some type of energy in your life that's going to bring new beginnings, new starts, refreshment, new moon energy. Spirit says that now energy is going to be moving, but you need to make sure that you are releasing fear, anxiety, worry, and not letting past situations hold you back, but being open to new beginnings. Right? Right? Okay. That was beautiful. I love that. I love everything about it. Now, let's see what are they, what are they saying? What are they saying about you to other people? I'm just curious. What is Pal A's person? What is Pal A's person saying to Pal A? 
What is Pal A person saying about Pal A to other people? Mm, I heard attractive and smart. Mm, all right. <laughs> A little beauty. Okay. What are they saying to Pal A? What is Pal A's person saying to, about Pal A to other people? What are they saying? I feel like this person talks about you. I feel like this person definitely talks about you. Your, <laughs> your person might have showed someone your social media. Um, this person, <laughs> it seems like your person has been going through some things and not being without, not being with you, not being with you is causing more issues than being without you. <laughs> it, it, it's saying that this person is like, sacrificing themselves in a way they're not having what they truly truly want and now they want to come back around to you i guess this person just feels something missing they feel like there's something missing they're telling people that they've made it hard on you that they've made it hard or maybe you made it hard somebody made it hard somebody made the energy a little tough and maybe because they were having like a lot of other things going on in their mind in their life around them but they're they're wanting change. I feel like this person has changed in some type of way. They're wanting change, has changed. And I think this person has realized that they're in love with you. Or if they're not in love, then they like you. You know, make it make sense. Um, I feel like this person is saying that there's nobody I can see myself living with but you. I think this person oh, let me get like two more cards hold on so I can finish the story yeah <laughs> they person want to be with you but they need a little space right now but they miss you okay so what I feel like your person so say for instance you know it's me you right we people I'm pal A I'm pal A's person and you pal A's friend, right? Okay, so this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. This is what they going to say to their friends about you. Okay? All right. So, pal A, right? I like pal A. I, I, my, I think I might even be in love with pal A, right? But I don't know. It's like I made shit difficult. I made it difficult because I couldn't focus. I had a lot of other things going on. And now, it's like I feel kind of lonely. I feel like I, I don't have all the pleasures that I used to. I don't feel fulfilled like I used to. And I kind of want to get back to what I used to have. Like, this is Pal A's social media. Ain't she beautiful? Ain't he beautiful? Like, it's mine. Don't look too long. Okay, give me back my phone. <laughs> but I feel like... I feel like I want this person in my life. Like, I don't want anybody else really around this person. Nobody else really gives the energy that I'm looking for when it comes to Pal A. But I don't feel bad about, you know, taking time out for me because I needed to focus. I needed to push them away for a second because I needed to get some things done. But I've changed. I've grown. And I can't get over how attractive how a is like i'm very sexually attracted to about a but i'm in confusion i'm in confusional energies <laughs> because i want to be with them but i also need some space i'm still trying to figure them some things out I think that's what they they will be saying. That that makes sense. I couldn't get any other messages. What is Paul and this person saying about them? This person's opening up their mind. 
they're wanting to play. They're wanting to enjoy the moment. I feel like this person does want to rise above and open up and go overcome obstacles to be able to reconcile with you, to be able to be with you in some type of way. I feel like this person feels like there could be so much potential. There's a lot of risk in this situation because it can go either very right or very wrong. But this person is loosening up fear. They're relaxing. And you should relax too because your first message was to relax. Right? I believe it was relax. Release fear. Because your person is going to mirror you. You guys are going to mirror each other's energy. So if you're in a relaxed, open state, it will make this person relaxed and open with you. This person has been working on forgiving themselves and their self-worth. They have awakened to the their energy with you, but they're very um cautious about it. They don't understand it fully, but they know it's something. Okay, let's finish this up. Um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like your person's not truly revealing all of this, but I feel in the in this this three D reality. But I feel like in 5D, they don't have a mask on. And they are truly who they want to be with you. So, I mean, if you guys feel like you've been talking spiritually, then keep talking to them. Because that's who they truly are. But they still have some type of ego and guard up on this earthly plane. You know how that shit go. But... I feel like what they're telling their their friend or whomever this... Who, who are they telling this to? They might have a girl best friend. They might have a really um, close girl best friend. Or a sister or something like that. Or maybe even a, a auntie. Like, you know, we can be really close to our aunties. But it, it's something... It's a female that they're very close to. I don't feel like it's a mother energy. Um... That they're telling that they want to be with you, but they're confused. But they do want to be in your energy. Okay, so if this makes any type of sense to you, my beautiful Pal A people. Please let me know, and I will talk to you the next one. Welcome back to my jinky Christmas setup. Um, One day, I'm going to be one of those girls that got <laughs> all the little cute things around, and it's going to be so adorable. But today, you know, we're going to do what we can do. <laughs> It's such a small setup anyways. So for Pal B, let's see what Pal B, let's see what your person is telling their friend. Who is, who is they telling this to? This person's talking to their father or maybe their grandfather. Maybe this is like a, um, seems like an older, maybe an uncle, like an older, wiser male figure in their life. Maybe like a mentor, someone that's older than this person. Um, what are they telling Pal B about you? What are they telling the per, their older male figure about you? What is Pal B telling other people? What is Pal B's person telling other people about Pal B? There you go. That should be so confusing half the time. What? What is this on my screen? Ew. What are they telling Pal B? Pal B's person telling their people about Pal B. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm saying. It ain't you. It's me. I'm taking my time on purpose. Okay. I miss you, but I think we need some space. Is it still mine? Can I hit it in the morning? Uh, Let's just have fun. Don't fall in love. It's a lot of cards. They got a lot to say. But they want a baby, so <laughs> it's not that serious, but it's serious, huh? That's crazy. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll be in my feelings. Uh, <laughs> this person has feelings for you, but it's like they play hard to get. Um, I'm trying to move on because things have changed, but I feel a soul connection. Soul connection, soul connection. So, what I'm getting so far, so say for instance, I'm Pal B, right? I'm Pal B's person. I'm, Pal, I'm your person. And I'm talking to this older male gentleman, whoever this man is, right? This is what they're saying about you to them. Oh, let me get these cards up because I know y'all be wanting to see them and things.
growth. Okay. So, uh, okay. So I'm them, right? Whew, look, action. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, okay. So I feel like Pal B is definitely somebody that is very unique. Very, very unique. And this person drives me fucking crazy. They drive me crazy. And at times I feel them slipping away. So I'm, I just wonder if there are still minds in a way. Um, we've been in this separational energy and I miss them. I do. But I think that we need space right now. A lot of things have changed. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to move forward. I see them trying to grow. Them trying to move forward. And sometimes I can create a blockage that makes it hard between us. But everything that I do has really nothing to do with you. It's a reflection upon me and what I have been going through. So I want to be in their energy. I want to have fun with them because I still have feelings for them. And I feel spiritually bound to them in a way. This person drives me crazy, though. Like, when we around each other, it's, it's something unique. Something something that makes me feel good. But I can't fully come right now to them. And it's, it's because it has really nothing to do with Pal B. It has nothing to do with them. But I just feel like I'm going through a lot. I'm going through something that's taking me away from them. But I still have feelings. I want to have fun. And. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is me. This is Lissandra now. Um, I don't know if you guys have children. Um, talked about having children. Or something involving a baby. Or this person just wants to practice making a baby with you. That can be a thing too. But I I feel like they, there's, they will be saying something about. Like, either, okay, so, like, say, for instance, they're joking, right? Like, I want to have a baby with this person, though. I want to be able to keep this person around. That's one thing they might say. Or they might say that, you know, I'm still here for the children. I want to make sure that I can take care of my child, make sure that I can be a good father or mother. Um, and then another one is, well, it, I mean, I guess it can only be having a child together. Or they just want to keep you around. This person just wants to make sure that they have some type of tie to you. I feel like your person is trying to do some things with their life. And they can't sit still right now. And it has nothing to do with you. Pal B. How does, uh, what does Pal B's person tell their people about Pal B? Look at all them cars. Oh, you're talking to fifth dimension this winter time. Things are well ascend. Hidden paths will be open and they're gonna be some type of result. Mm. Okay. Okay. Free mm. will choices. Somebody's gonna be making a choice. There's going to be some healing from loneliness and destruction, creating destruction, unexpected opportunities, self-care, healing, being gentle with yourself. So, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Look, I don't want to sound like I'm having an orgasm on camera, so I had to catch my, <laughs> had to catch my moaning. Um. I moan when I like things. Somebody asked me that once. I was dating this guy. He was like, why do you moan all the time? I was like, if I like it, I moan. And I can't help it. But once you stop hearing me moan, it's time for you to go, ain't it? Okay, so spring time is going to when it's going to happen. This is when it's going to happen, y'all. So stay with me. Stay with me, okay? I feel like something's about to happen. I don't know. Okay, so your card is growth. Look, I'm a little jittery because I'm very... I'm very excited. So let me breathe through this excitement. Um, plus, I smoked a little bit, so that's probably make me very jittery. Uh, 
I feel like something's about to ascend this winter time. I feel like some type of growth is about to happen. I don't know what it is with this person, but underneath they're telling people, they, ne they never told anybody that they didn't want you. But they're, underneath is the energy of no action. It's the energy of like recognizing that they have things going on, recognizing that it has nothing to do with you, recognizing that they still want you, they still long for you, and that you are uh, something in their life. But on top, it says, well, actually the second layer, it's saying that some type of choice is going to be made that's going to create some healing and some type of change from being lonely and lost to being in something that's committed. <laughs> I feel like if you guys are in a pause energy right now, as soon as it's time to hit play, you guys are going to go into an actual relationship. I feel like your outcome of this energy is going to be some type of gesture of so if you guys are in the energy of being able to get married then i feel like that's your next step go with your next step don't jump too far ahead okay because you don't want to go from not being in a relationship to being married all of us i mean you know it happens you know go with your first man okay because it happens people do be happy with that energy but don't get carried away with yourself, I should say. I mean, shit, do what you feel like. You need to. But I just feel like it's saying that winter time is going to start. So we're still in fall. So once winter time hits, when it starts getting real cold outside, that's when things are going to start opening up between you two more. That's when there's going to be action towards giving you an offer, making some type of movement. That's when this romance is going to be able to truly happen. And I feel like by springtime, you guys are going to be in something committed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. That's what I feel on the inside. Yep, I feel like it's going to be like your thing says for Pal B, growth. I feel a lot of growth. So uh, what, what's going to happen? What, what's happening? What's next? What's, what's going on? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. What's going on with Pal B and... Uh, situation with you okay let's see what's going oh okay all right, all right okay okay playfulness it's going to start off as being very playful building trust with one another building off of a friendship that's always a wonderful thing spirit is going to help to release some negative energy thank you spirit because we need a little help out here so what, what's going to happen then let's talk, look, talk to me talk to me i'm excited divine timing it came out reverse should i keep it reversed Spirit is saying that they're making, they're, they're putting things together the way it needs to. This relationship is a puzzle right now. And they're trying to make it a full, they're in puzzle pieces. They're trying to put the puzzle together. So you got to give them some time. That's why it was giving me the energy of, because right now it's fall. So it's going into, well, it's fall in the United States. I'm in Chicago. So it's fall where I'm at. Um... So, winter time is happening at the end of December, and then spring is right after that, three months, three months after that. So, I would say within five months, I think that you guys will be in something committed or something more progressive than you guys are now. Um, there's going to be a lot of expression, letting things go, and just like making it happen. It says very soon what? I saw very soon too. This person is focused on their money, but they're coming around to give you some healing. I, th I feel baby steps. Just give it baby steps. And I think it's going to be very rewarding, actually. Look, give it a chance for give and learn, and you guys will commit. There's going to be flirting energy as well. Okay, so for Pal B, um, start off as baby steps. This person's focused on their career. That's probably why they're not, they're taking in a little time. Uh, baby steps. Friendship is very important, but the outcome could possibly be, it says, look, you're going to be giving your relationship a chance, forgiving and learning, and then we have wedding twice, offer, so, you know, take it as you may. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Hi, Pal C. Welcome to the reading. 
Okay, Palsy, what is your person? What is your person? What is Palsy's person saying? Oh, this is a woman. This might be a mother. This might be a mother. Or like a mother figure. So whoever this person is talking to is like a mother figure. Now, this might even be... This might be an earthly mother, or this might be a spiritual, like some, like an ancestor that they might be talking to. They might be praying to a mother that's passed. They might be praying to a grandma that's passed, or maybe an auntie or someone. You know, this person has, still has that connection, so they just might be like talking out loud about their feelings towards about you. I feel like for that's like for a few, and this person feels very. Um, comfortable with that energy of talking to their people hmm. okay so what is Palsy's person saying about Palsy to them to other people what are they saying what are they saying oh shit okay we got a lot look at that um this person wants to put it in you okay they want you to stay in their energy they feel like you guys need to talk this person is not ready to grow up, but they want to be around you. You give this person anxiety, that's probably why they take space from you. But this feel, person feels like they're not full and they have regrets. They're not full. They're not fully happy without you. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I feel like this person, at the bottom of the deck, I saw, I want to be with you. Now I see, um, let's get married. This person is going to come back around to you after they've been gone. This person has been dating. So either this person's, maybe this person's married. Maybe this person is in some type of relationship. Or maybe this person is dating. Like whatever makes sense to you. You know, it's totally different from... All the people that's watching. It's totally different. But, okay. So, what I feel like they're probably saying to the divine or a motherly figure or someone like a feminine energy that, like, they, they have this really bond, whoever they're talking to. They're saying that they want to make love to you. They're saying that, that they want to be in your energy. They want you to stay with them. This person is being led to needing to talk to you. So whoever they are talking to, they're saying that the person is saying that they you should talk to them. Like y'all should talk. Y'all need to talk. Um I feel like this person is also saying that they're not really ready to grow up, but they want to be around you. They want to get out of being in a cold energy, some type of stalemate, to being, coming back. So, okay, so saying it from their, their point of view, right? So, I feel like, okay, how, how would they say this? Uh, so, okay, so I'm dealing with Palsy, right? Palsy. It's like, I have a lot of regrets and I, I don't feel 100%. Because I want to talk to Pal C. I've been childish. I've took in my space. I've probably pushed away. And it's because uh, they give me anxiety in some type of way. I have a lot of regrets. But I don't want Pal C to leave my energy. I want them to stay here. I want them to be with me. Like, I want to make love to them. I want to be around them. And I've probably been distant. I've probably been cold. But I miss them truly. And I want to be around them again. Like, I, I want to hold them. Because I've missed them. I've been dating. I've been doing my thing. But I'm tired of taking space. <laughs> I'm tired of needing to space. I'm needing to have space. I'm tired of needing to have space. I miss Palsy. 
and I'm definitely going to try to do my best to try to come back around. Should I take these? Heartbroken. <laughs> Got wedding ring again. And heartbroken. Just taking a little break because of some baggage from the past. But they feel like you check off the boxes and that you're very compatible. So they'll be like, yeah, I feel like this person has someone else. I don't know who this person is. I don't know. <sighs> spirit. Uh, I'll be forgetting that I can talk to Spirit. I'll be forgetting. Um, who, who did, who, uh, I was about to say, Hoppo, who this woman, Lord? <laughs> who is this woman? Who is this other person? Some of, Spirit says, some of you guys know that there's someone else. Some of you guys know this. Um, for others, it's not really something you need to no no because they're not important it doesn't affect y'all relationship some of you guys are okay with this energy and know about this person some of you guys don't and won't like it and will move on so who is this female and who is this, this other involved are they dating are they married Spirit says it depends. It depends on the situation. You'll know what favors you. A anyway, somebody's dating somebody else. It's, it's some another third party situation. I, I I don't fucking like third party situations. I don't. Um. Okay. So it's saying that there are. Okay. So this person is saying like I want to talk to Pal C. I've been thinking about Pal C. I want to let Pal C know something. I I feel very compatible with them. I love their personality. They're very funny. Um. It's a lot of connections here. I feel the connection here. I feel like they're the real deal. You know, they got a lot of good qualities. They check the boxes. And now I want I want some type of union with the soul connection. But it's a lot of pain here. This person is suffering through some pain. Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe they're going through a divorce. There's still a lot of pain. A lot of grieving from that energy. Or if they're not going through a divorce, then this person is... <sighs> It just seems like they have a lot of hurt feelings. Maybe from you, maybe from someone else. But it's saying that this person just has a lot of baggage. That's why they take time to get new perspectives. Because I, I think at times they can feel their old baggage coming into the situation with you guys. But one thing I can tell you, speaking from Lysandra, um, I feel like they're going to call you very soon. It's not going to take long. <laughs> and mainly because I think that this person thinks about you a lot. A lot. This person wasn't ready when you guys met. I don't know if you guys got into a relationship very quickly, but... This person is saying that I need space because I'm anxious. I'm anxious and I'm a narcissist. So it's all about me. It's all about me. Uh, Kelsey, we got renewal. Mm -hmm. They are coming to you at a renewed energy. So, so what is Kelsey telling their people about you? I even, I even get, I even get, and this is <laughs> weird as hell, but I think they're honestly telling someone that they probably previously dated, or maybe they're telling this other person, because it's, it's someone else that's interrupting y'all's situation. Uh, that could be negative, that could be positive, but it just seems like somebody else's energy is in here, and they might even be telling them about you. Uh, you might know about i don't know y'all might be knowing about each other i mean it, it happens it happens it's best it's best to know than not to know Shit. that way you can make positive decisions um yes yes they're telling people that they want a fresh start they're telling people that they're going to come in to refresh and like i said before this person is definitely narcissist it's very much about themselves and they feel at home with you when you guys are together, they feel like you guys are family and that this energy between you two is very sacred. Maybe this person's been praying about the situation. Maybe you've been praying. 
but it's it seems like this person feels very like you guys have a soul connection like y'all relationship is very sacred it's not like something they've had before and they're coming at you this fall so very very soon yeah it's going to be releasing a releasing of the anxiety just letting things flow um talking about situations between you two that kind of affected the relationship if you guys have children that this person wants to come around and be a good father or mother or they just feel at home with you and you make them feel love like family but it's going to be a lot of healing that's coming this fall very soon actually um this person has a lot of things going on um, but they feel at home with you. I feel like this is going to be a spiritual pull to one another. I feel like it is a spiritual pull. I feel like this person is going to start listening to themselves more. And, and mainly, I feel like this person is coming back 100%. It's because you make them feel at home. You make them feel safe. You make them feel secure. You make them feel cozy. You make them feel loved. Um, and they don't have security out in the world. The world is a harsh place, honey. <laughs> so they they like, I want home. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. It's like, you want to go to jail? You want to go home? I want to go home. <laughs> I feel like this person has learned their lesson and they have a lot more lessons to learn with you. You guys are karmic partners. Karmic energy is all about lessons, honey. It's all about lessons. And you guys might even come back together as something that's 100% unconventional. Um, because I feel like this energy is very unconventional in the first place. It's weird because I, I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like this person's telling their partner about you and this person's curious about you <laughs> and you probably know about them and they probably know about you. This is just for certain people. Now, if y'all not in that situation, I feel like this person's talking to a female figure that they look up to about the situation with you and they're just probably dating around and that's what their mind is on now. But this person really wants to come back to you because they feel very secure with you. It just, it really just depends. But overall, I feel like this person wants a fresh new start with you. A new beginning. Something fresh. Something where they can get out their ego and be able to live peacefully with you. And it's going to come very, very soon. And I feel like you are going to hear from them very, very soon. Because they definitely want to talk to you. I hope this made sense. It was like kind of all over the place. But... Let me know what you think about this, and I will talk to you. And maybe they're not fucking this other person, right? Maybe this other person is just, like, someone that they're very, very close to. So let me know what you think about this, and I'll talk to you in the next one.